I just copied a website that's making $20,000 per month from one single page and I never created a website before. So like how? I used AI to copy this website in less than a day. And here you can see the website. It's 10minutemail.com. It has over 1.2 million views in a month and a site like this typically has at least an RPM of $10. So for each 1,000 views, they will get paid $10. And I found out this site is getting 1.63 page views per visit. So in total, that's about 2 million page views. And that tells me they're making over $20,000 a month from only Google ads. And like, that's insane. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I cloned 10minutemail.com, how I set it up with Google ads to make money right away, and how I even connected it to Stripe for premium features, all using one single AI tool, no coding required. Now, what most people don't realize is that the simplest of websites are often the most profitable ones. For example, this image compression tool generates five figures monthly with just one page. So I'm gonna show you exactly my process for replicating this kind of business model. So to kick things off, I'm gonna start by describing exactly what I want to build. A clean, minimalist, single page website that gives users a free, anonymous, temporary email address. And it should work in instantly and be valid for 10 minutes. No forms, no login, no personal info. And as soon as someone visits the page, a working email address should be generated automatically and displays clearly at the top of the screen. So here, right below that, there should be a simple inbox panel that updates in real time. Any incoming messages should appear as they arrive. So there's no need to refresh the page. I also want a visible countdown timer showing how much time is left before the email expires since each temporary address should only be valid for 10 minutes. So to make the experience more flexible, I want to ask for a button that lets our users extend the timer if they need it. I also make sure to include a few small but useful features like a copy button for the email address and an optional way to forward messages so that our users can get what they need and then move on quickly. As for the design, I'm going to keep things clean and modern. The background should be pretty plain, like plain white, the layout distraction free, and the email itself displayed in bold, easy to read text. There should be zero clutter, just the essentials and absolutely no page reloads. Everything should be fast, should feel fast, clean and look seamless. On the monetization side, I wanna add the free experience to include Google AdSense, so still the site can earn from ads or basic traffic. But I also wanna give our users the option to upgrade. And that's where Stripe comes in. Premium users should be able to pay for a custom domain email address that lasts for 24 hours, one day, instead of just 10 minutes. After submitting the prompt, Replit is now asking me if I'd like to enable a few additional features like Google AdSense integration, Stripe payments, yes, custom domain email support, and inbox management tools like message filtering and organization. And this time, I'll check all the boxes here, and then I'm gonna click Approve Plan and Start. And after that, Replit begins generating a live preview of the site. And now, as you can see, the layout starts coming together right away. Now, I know we've all been there, signing up for something real quick, testing a tool, or maybe just downloading a file where we just don't really want to hand over our real email with our names in it probably. That's exactly what this app is built for, giving our users a disposable, no strings attached inbox that works instantly right when they need it. So the moment someone lands on the page, the app generates a temporary disposable email address for them automatically. There's no input form required. There's no registration form to fill in. It just appears right at the top using the at tempmail.io domain. And as soon as it's created, a countdown timer starts, giving users a exactly 10 minutes before the email expires. Clicking the new email button generates a fresh, unique address tied to the current session. It's a fast reset in case users want to switch without having to refresh the page all over again. And right below the email address is the inbox section, which updates in real time as messages come in. And if I click new email, a sample message gets delivered almost immediately. The subject and sender show up in a clean list view and 
clicking on any message brings up the full content. Now, as you can see, it is plain text only, so no attachments or formatting, but for quick use, it gets the job done. Under the inbox, the countdown timer shows how much time is left. There's also an extend timer button, which should reset or add another 10 minutes to the session. But when I try it, nothing happens. So we're just gonna go back to Replit and explain the issue to it. When a user clicks the button, extend timer, it should reset or add 10 minutes to the current email. This should be smooth and not refresh the page. And after clicking load preview and testing again, the issue is still there. So I'm going to clarify my prompt a little bit better. When trying to click the extend timer button, it should reset the timer. Doing that seems to do the trick. If I click the button one more time, it resets the countdown to 10 minutes with no page reload. All right, so everything stays live and smooth just the way it should. All right, so once our users have their temporary email set up and the inbox is receiving messages properly, the next thing they're gonna want is control, just simple tools to manage what comes in without overcomplicating the flow. So right beside the email address, there's a copy button. Clicking that instantly copies the address to their clipboard and with just one click, it's ready to paste wherever they need it. And when a message does come in and we click to open it, everything is laid out. Out clearly and you'll see the usual email headers like from to and subject followed by the full body of the message in plain text now at the bottom of each message as you can see there are three small buttons delete forward and close these let our users either clean out their inbox send the message to someone else or simply close the view and move on. Nothing fancy, just the basics done right. Next up, it's time to get the premium side working. And when I click the upgrade to premium button, it shows a quick rundown of the features and it gives me a field to type in a custom email address. However, when I try to move forward and click upgrade now, it just says premium features coming soon. No, it should be here right now. Not quite there yet, so I'm gonna head over to Replit and let it know what I need right now. Add Stripe Checkout to let users purchase a custom domain based temporary email address that lasts for 24 hours instead of 10 minutes. After their payment, generate a unique temporary domain based email address and store the expiration information in the database. Now that Stripe is being set up, I'm prompted to enter the API key. So let's open up my Stripe dashboard, head on over to the developers tab and copy both the secret and public keys. I'm going to paste those back into Replit and click continue. Now it's time to test it. And I'm going to reload the app in a new browser. And then I'm going to click upgrade to premium. I'm going to type in a custom email and hit continue to payment. Stripe opens up as expected. I am going to fill out the payment details. After that, I'm going to click upgrade now. And this time that actually works. The premium email I just put in is created and it says it'll be valid for 24 hours. The only issue, however, the countdown timer isn't working yet. And that means we just need to go back to Replit and type this in. The Stripe checkout is working, but it should be fully responsive on desktop view. The premium email should have a 24 hour timer working. And once we sort all of that out, the full upgrade flow should be good to go. Now that the premium upgrade flow is working, Stripe checkout, custom domain generation, and that 24 hour email timer, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to monetizing the free tier users. The website already has visible ad containers labeled as advertisement space. So the next step is simply to connect them properly to Google AdSense. And to do that, I'm gonna go to Replit and type in this prompt. Add Google AdSense to the website to show ads on the advertisement space. And to make everything work, I need to replace the placeholder publisher ID with my actual Google AdSense ID and also set up ad units in my AdSense account using real slot IDs. So I'm gonna log into Google AdSense, I'm gonna enter my site details, and then I'll click start using AdSense. After filling out the customer information form, I'm going to submit it and continue to the section where Google AdSense shows suggested placements. Here, I'm gonna click apply to the site, then hit let's go to access the ad code snippet. And once I have that code, I just have to paste it directly back into Replit. And with that done, I will click request review and then submit. Now it's all in Google's hands and it usually takes anywhere 
anywhere from two to four weeks for the site to get approved. And while I'm waiting, I still want the ad sections on the site to, you know, look more realistic. So I am going to go back to Replit and type in another prompt like this. Update the ad placeholders to look exactly like a real Google AdSense ads with Google standard ad styling and format. Make as many banners as possible. I'm going to also attach a sample image as a reference and check it out. Here's the result. The website placeholders are now ready for ads. So before testing, I'm going to tell Replit, use a real email management tool so I can receive verification messages when signing up for other websites using a temporary email. Now, at this point, everything on the surface looks solid. The timer works, the inbox updates in real time, and the UI feels smooth. But now comes the real test. Can I actually use this temp email to sign up on another website and receive a real verification message? So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'll use the temp email to register on a test website. And the website says a code was sent, but on my end, nothing shows up in the inbox. I'll double check, and if that doesn't work, I'll refresh, and then I'll wait a little longer. Still, nothing. So all I have to do is let Replit know a code was sent, but I have not received the verification email in my inbox. And it responds by explaining that one sec mail, the current email provider being used, might be blocking incoming requests from Replit servers due to their security policies. So to work around that, Replit starts switching over to a different service, which is mail.tm, a more reliable API for receiving real world emails. It starts implementing the connection behind the scenes. So I'm just going to sit back and try it again using the new setup. Yeah, still no luck. So I'm going to type into Replit. I tried it, but I didn't receive any real email or verification email after signing up on a website. Again, this time Replit replies with a confirmation step. Before we continue, I need to confirm, are you okay with me connecting to an external mail service, API, mail.tm, that will allow you to actually receive real verification emails from websites? Of course, I'm going to answer it with yes, connect to an external email service API if needed. And after that final step, as you can see, everything clicks into place, but I do want to try it again. So I'm going to sign up again with the temp email. And this time the verification message actually arrives in my inbox. The tool finally works the way it was meant to receiving real emails in real time. And there you have it. The temporary email app is live and fully functional. And it now does everything I set it out to do. Instant email generation, real time time inbox updates, a working timer with an extend option, premium upgrades through Stripe, and every real verification email support using an external API. So if you're thinking about building your own one page tool, or maybe you just want to see what AI can actually deliver step by step, you're in the right spot. This is a great example of how far you can go without having to write a single line of code. If you found this helpful, please help me out too. drop a comment below, give it a like and let me know what kind of AI power builds you want to see next. I'm totally game to make them happen. I'll see you with the next one. And thanks for watching.